There are tough and colorful perennials that gardening guru Cisco Morris loves, but they have diabolical names. He's going to explain the monstrous name and the beautiful plants. Cisco has been chomping at the bit to tell us about them, so come on out. There he is. I thought maybe for a second you weren't there. How are you? Happy Monday. Uh, happy Monday. These are the most beautiful colors. I love these. So these are crocosmia. Crocosmia. If, yeah, and if you go hiking in South Africa, you see these growing all over the place. They are gorgeous. Aren't they pretty? So, now, what is the deal with the, the monstrous names for the beautiful plants? I don't plants? know why, but uh, so this monster here, this, this is called uh, Diablo. Diablo, okay. Or Lucifer. This Lucifer. one's Lucifer. <laughs> Diablo similar. is its little uh, brother. It Goodness doesn't get so colors. tall, but that's what the flowers look like on Lucifer. I counted how many flowers were on that uh, when it was in full bloom. Yep. 12,942,000. That must have taken you it took a me a long time to count to get those. There. But look at it. It's, these haven't even totally no, bloomed. No, those haven't so even opened. A whole and big there's giant. hummingbirds on them every oh, minute. Oh, my really gosh. Really great. So they're beautiful. There's some that get taller, some that don't get so tall. This Let's is start with uh, that one. Ember Glow. And uh, Look at those flowers. Boy, aren't they? They're just such a rich color. And they go from like this cranberry to a, almost a bright red. Yeah. Limpopo. Look, Look at, at that, that orange. No, is this also native to South Africa? Yeah. Or do we find well, these you know, these else? are hybrids. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, uh, most of these are hybrids, but most of them look a lot like this guy. But look at this. Star of the Beautiful. East. Look at the size of the flower That's on gorgeous. that guy. Does it smell like anything? No, no fragrance no, that I've ever noticed. Pretty. And the yellow one. What about this it, one? This is Tom Baker. But the, this is Tom a Baker. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's a really old variety. You might not find that, but they have new yellow ones that are really cool. I noticed at the nursery. Those look so good together. And yeah, they do, and they make great cut flowers. They do for arrangements. And uh, this, this one's one? Fern Hill. Oh, look at that color. That's gorgeous. Oh, How man. long do they bloom for? A uh, pretty darn long time. You know, they, it depends how hot it is in the ring. Because I noticed this guy bloomed out quicker than this normal one? when it got really hot. But uh, they last, you know, a couple weeks, something like that, two, three weeks so maybe. You can really enjoy them. So what's your uh, suggestion for planting these? Now, now, the problem with this one, this is Mary's plant, but she didn't water it enough uh -oh. before she planted it. So that's the only reason it's having problems can like this. Can we say this. that, though? We can just oh, turn yeah, those off? Oh, yeah, you plant that, it'll come right back. And this has bronze foliage. I've got one in my garden. Oh, it's so cool. That's neat. Can we plant it now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Plant water it fertilizing, now. Water fertilizing, what's Just the rule? make sure you water it. It's not a bad idea to give it a little rose food, okay. organic rose food, because then that just keeps it blooming. It makes it bloom more, you know, so. And then we keep up with yep. the water. Okay, now, apparently we can divide this yeah, bad boy yeah. so we and better, make new colonies, We better move right? this stuff to the side because I'm hoping I didn't bite off more than I could chew I don't here. know. That actually looks pretty uh, big, even uh, for the two of us. This is going to be a challenge here. Do you want here, me to but, help or just stand uh, back? Let's see. I think I can get this up there. Lift with your knees. So just so people can see Good gravy. how tall these are in your garden. So... Uh, and uh, this came out of Mary's side of the garden Does this morning. Does she know that you're doing this? Well, she might have been walking the dog right there. <laughs> <laughs> she'll never, gonna be she has lots of them. She'll never notice. <laughs> she'll never notice uh, this is gone. Uh, uh, you are in for it. You better bring some a nice lunch home when you go. All now, right, so how do we this divide this? If this was fall, all this foliage dies back mm -hmm. right to the ground. You could just cut that off and divide it. It'd be a lot easier. But, but got, no, we're no, going to do no, it this you way. Try. And if a friend <laughs> said, hey, I'd like some of this, then what you got to do is you got to divide it while it's in full leaf without cutting it back. Very so, good. Uh, but so we better, we do it? I think we should lay it back down lay because back down? I don't want to okay. accidentally. Uh, shovel me? Yeah, shovel you. That would not be good. Well. All right, so Here we go. all you got to do is get your wonderful, trusty digging spade out there. This is my favorite tool, except for my pruners, you know. I know you love those pruners. And you just, now this would all be standing up, and you got to kind of whoosh, whoosh, and then you just go out there and very gently, hi-ya, oh cool, hi-ya. <laughs> <laughs> You've got strength there. Look at that. That's for meeting it. all those got Brussels it. sprouts. I know it is. That's, <laughs> that is the trick. So, so then there, we just pull it off, that, and, and you there could, you go. You take that one plant, it'll grow like crazy. And, 
and see all it is it's bulbs in there yeah there's there, tons there's of them there's billions Look at that. of little bulbs and the problem this lucifer spreads a little too fast i think you know some of these other ones are a little better behaved so, so this that's guy a, let's say you gave me this to take home um, what's the best way to plant it to make sure it's plant happy? Plant it right up to the, just where they're coming out of the ground. Okay, no more than that. Nope, and uh, just, but you're going to have to water the livid tweedle out okay. of it. That's the key. So for a couple of days, you're going to have to, maybe for a week, water it every, every day, day. If you're going to do it this time of year. But it'll make it. These things are so tough. Well, if they're growing in South Africa with the wind and the sun and That's all the rest, right. so where in the yard do I want a lot of sun? Not a lot so of much. sun. Lots of and sun. And if you can find well drained soil, that'll help a lot. You know, they no, don't like sitting in clay. That's the one thing they don't like. And the, oops, I kind of covered your notes. That's up there okay. We don't need those here. Look, we'll just <laughs> cover those with dirt and leaves and say goodbye to that. Okay, so where do I find these? Do I go to just any nursery, or am I going to have to find a specialty well, nursery? Well, you know, to get these? I, I went to Swanson's okay. and I found all these nice new varieties there. You know, if I go in there and say I'm looking for Lucifer, will that be confusing for them, or will they know what I'm talking about? Oh, they'll know. They, you will just they say I want to Lucifer. Help me? <laughs> <laughs> they'll either go, they'll either run for their lives, or they'll find you. Cisco and, sent me for Lucifer. That's and, what I'm going to uh, But you might consider Diabolito, because uh, Diabolito is uh, Lucifer's little brother, and wow. it doesn't get so tall. Okay, so you wouldn't so have to deal with all of this. You wouldn't have to deal with, because then you, you got to split it that. the same way? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, this already putting up new ones in there. Mm -hmm. In a, by, by the end of next year, I bet I could already divide this and get some new ones. That is super so. hardy. Thank you very much. Those are beautiful. Oh, I love I, they them. seem like they need a nicer name, but there <laughs> you go. They're fierce.